This is a very simple, quick, and cheap activity that I saw at a Georgia Science Teachers Conference many years ago. The session was sponsored by Fernbank Natural History Museum. I use this activity when we are talking about human impact on the environment and during our ocean unit. You fill a bowl with plastic Easter eggs. I like to add sand because it is a sea turtle nest. Each student draws an egg out of the bowl and then they read their fate, which is enclosed. Fates can be human consequences like poachers or natural consequences like large sharks eating baby sea turtles. Students open their eggs, read their fates, and then read them aloud to the class. Then each student must decide whether this was a problem caused by humans or just something that sea turtles naturally encounter in the wild. After they have read their fate to the class, then students will place their egg in the red bowl if it was a problem caused by humans, or the blue bowl if it's just a natural occurrence. We then discuss how different animals have different strategies for survival of their species. Some animals have a few young and raise them for quite a long time, like humans or monkeys. Some have many eggs, but they abandon those eggs immediately and never come back to take care of their young. I always tell my students that a mother sea turtle digs a nest, lays a hundred or more eggs, covers them back up, waves goodbye and says, good luck kids, and swims back into the ocean. So when these guys hatch, they are on their own. Many natural predators and natural disasters might befall these young turtles. That's why there are so many eggs in the nest, so that some of them are likely to survive. But when we separate out the man-made problems that cause eggs not to hatch or sea turtles not to grow up, then we see that our impact makes a huge difference and that the number of sea turtle eggs can't keep up with the problems that people have caused. Fortunately, in recent years, people have become much more aware of our impact on the sea turtles and people are working very hard to protect their nests, both scientists, researchers, and also volunteers.